On to some sizzling sports action over at the FIBA Asia Cup 2021 qualifiers where Indonesia suffered a second defeat in the hands of the new Gila squad. Paulo Del Rosario with the story. Flood water could not stop the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers as the crowd comes to the Mahaka Square to witness Gila's Filipinas take on host nation Indonesia. <laughs> Gilas Pilipinas looks to open their FIBA Asia Cup campaign on a winning note, while Indonesia aims to bury a disappointing defeat against South Korea. How are we going to show ourselves today? Right? How are we going to show ourselves is the key. Because the opponent's not the key. We know what they're going to do. We know how they're going to play. How are we going to play? So at the end of this game, we should be able to look at each other and be like, man, we took a huge step up today. And you're playing for who? Man, you're playing for your country, man. There's no higher honor. So if people aren't ready today, I'm sorry for you. I don't know what to tell you. We need to be pulling each other down right now because we're all too what? So make sure you lift each other up in the warm-ups. Forget the crowd. Forget everything else. It's only us that's in here together. Everyone on the bench is going to be screaming at everyone else to know all the plays, to know all the calls. So just go out there and hoop. You don't have to second-guess anything. All the work is done. So can we be more together today and fight? Good. Hey, because if we are, that'll be enough. Right, come on. The Philippines starts out slowly, as Indonesia manages to stay within touching distance of the favored visitors. Gilas grabs the lead at halftime, but the hosts go into the break still hungry for an upset victory on home turf. Okay. Oh, the other big man's in help. Hit the step or wait for the guard to come. Boom! Because the big man's the helper, man, on that second screen and roll, he's going to be wide open, the guard coming off that pick. Let's think that. Offensively on a rebound, we what? Pillars. Man, but let's not go away from the D. Awesome first half. Hey, let's send a message to everybody this second half that we're for real. Yes. Indonesia outshines Gilas to open the third frame. But the Filipinos eventually find the rhythm and proceed to stamp their authority in the game. The Philippines outscores Indonesia 63-32 to in the second half, claiming a comfortable 100-70 win to open their campaign. 30 Ravenna leads Gilas in scoring with 23 points and 8 rebounds, while PBA stars RR Pogoy and CJ Perez combined for 27 markers. Gila's interim head coach Mark Dickel is happy with his team's performance, praising his young guns for stepping up on the big stage. I uh, came out the second half and they, they did a really good job of, of making some adjustments and we kind of didn't. Um, but to our credit, we stuck with it. You know, I, I thought our younger guys were awesome. Uh, how they responded to that, you know, it's a, it's a big step up for a lot of them and I, I thought they did a great job. Gilas Pilipinas goes home after a successful business trip in Indonesia and management hopes that this is the start of something great for Philippine basketball. Hey everybody, right? Hey, we should build off this though, mm -hmm. right? Hey, and this is going to be the squad, give or take other guys that come in, out, whatever. But we've got to, man, we've got to build on this, right? Hey, because Korea are coming in, what, six, seven months? And we may not get a whole lot of practice time, but shit, we've got to be ready. But that was awesome. I had a whole lot of fun. So thank you for your effort. Para sa bayan! Buso! Jakarta, Indonesia. Paulo de Rosario. We are One News.